Hi there everyone, this is Tina and this is your message of the day and this comes to you on the beautiful day of Monday, October the 28th, 2024. And as you see who is with you this day, you can choose to open your heart completely for your higher heart, your higher self, your higher mind, your divine self is opening up to the fact that you are precious and it is safe for you to love. You might have experienced more pain in the love landscape or the expression of love than, than you wanted to. And so you've held back somewhere. First and foremost, look at the beautiful carnation in her heart. She's asking you above everything. Remember that I'm a divine mother. I want to hold you, my precious child. I want to tell you that I'm here. That it's safe for you to love. Give up that pain. Surrender the pain. Whenever this painful or sorrowful or expression of love comes forward or a memory of that or relationship related to that, what, whatever form that relationship takes, be it family, be it friend, be it romantic, it will be an expression more of fear and pain and sadness. So look at one of these carnations on the left and right side at that time. Today, don't purposely try to see the left side as laying foundation and the right side as expressing and removing obstacles and delays. If that comes to to mind, yes, please do. Because mind and heart are very much merged together this day to help you shine. That's why her hair is golden. That's why a divine mother has come forward. Very much an expression of grace and love and peace, tranquility in every way. If you want to enhance those qualities in your life, go ahead and look into her eyes. How you want to enhance, how you want to bring forward more of an expression of love from within you, around you, towards whoever you think about, a situation, a place, wherever you felt held back, that you could not give enough love to a certain person, that they need it, that they're lonely. I went quiet for a moment to allow you to just feel the power of this beautiful carnation sitting there in her heart chakra. You merge now. And the carnation also will take on layers of light. Diamond, pink, golden, and also change shape. And what do I mean by change shape? Meaning, That it's not just a carnation, it's roses. And the rose is blossoming, shining, growing, glowing within you. And you feel now safer and safer. Secure. You're excited to share. And love. Extending affection forward purification in every way where you've felt held back or where you carry still memories of pain of the past it's all coming forward from those beautiful roses and carnations on the left side and only you retain your soul family's definition and the soul family with you right now giving you the capacity to love feel spiritually supported and to carry that extension of love forward in the most healthiest and harmonious manner. In fact, the essence of harmony in every form of expression of love is getting enhanced this day. So Archangel Ragwell is still there. Archangel Samuel, Archangel Raphael is clearing any pain you still carry. And Mother is, of course, very much 
giving you the canopy of her divine care, that huge orb that she is standing within is you. Yes, you. You are the orb. You're right behind her. You can feel her and feel yourself in her gown. You can feel yourself in the in the pink landscape of the very unusual sky this time. Glowing and burning with golden and white and pink rays of light. And just see all of the heavenly spaces blessing you with this care, with this pouring down of love and blessings as you need it, as you seek it right now. Many of you might be feeling lonely or misunderstood. Something related to emotions will keep on coming up. Maybe a pattern that you have not worked on or not managed to heal. A man not managed to rise above, self-blame, judgment, criticism, all of that will keep on emerging this day. But if you see there's roses right there in the path of the flame, changing the direction that you will go forward to where you go, to where you want to go in the future. It's going to work like that. You just trust and surrender and be. And know that you're absolutely taken care of because the heavenly forces and your spiritual team and your guardian angel really will not be satisfied. Or It's not that they're restless, but they want to see you complete, fulfilled, Expressing your divine self in every way that you're meant to express. Receiving the blessings you deserve to receive and not holding back, not feeling limited or lacking or that you are lonely and have no one to lean on. When there's a supreme canopy of light that is ready to love you just as you are, So if that's a concern that I'm not deserving of love because of, that because of, let it go. Let it go this day into wherever it is that it goes into her gown, into the rose within her heart, the pastel part of her gown. The pink that is glowing, that is moving, that is changing. That you're not meant to just keep on carrying pain as your definition. If you want to rewrite your definition, do that with her. Look into her eyes. What is it, Mother, that I need to balance and recreate and replenish and reaffirm I want to reclaim that. I want to remember that. I want to rise. And that is right there. That's why, so close to her crown, right above her third eye, helping you achieve this. Acceptance, first and foremost, of your own self as a divine being, that you have done nothing wrong, Whatever you did, you learned, you've grown from that, but you're still a divine one. You're still loved, just the way you are. The purpose and potential and talent that you carried, the intuition that you were born with, has not been lost. You just have to, you can say, clean off the window and come back to shining again. Keep on looking into her eyes to remind you to see differently. And love, of course, love is just waiting to be embraced by you in every way. You choose to hide from it. Or just don't see it even. If someone is holding your hand, you don't see them holding your hand. You see it as some other gesture, some something else. 
defensiveness, anger, whatever it is. Again, if you find yourself uncomfortable, find out how love can replace fear. In that very situation, in that very room, in that very concern, in that very moment. And it will change again for all concern. You just keep on embracing the divine truth. Your heart, that's why it's awakening. It wants to love and extend love and receive love. It's not that you just keep on working for others and get tired out and fatigued and have nothing to give. Balance, flow, enjoyment, fulfillment, peace, bliss. Use all of these words for yourself in your own language, in your own vocabulary, in your own timing, and in your own form of expression. And if you see her hair, why is it so wavy? Again, choosing to accept the guidance that's being received ever so gently. Be very gentle with yourself today. Because you might be quick to criticize others and yourself. Be aware of that too. It's not just some planetary situation that's going on or something. It's just, that's just how the universal life flow and glow is happening this day. You choose to be at peace, to be a center of peace, an instrument of peace, an instrument of love. It'll come to you and you'll enjoy it. You're already smiling thinking about that. Even her lips are pink, giving you the power to communicate verbally through loving words, Maybe you sympathize and empathize with someone or reach out to someone or communicate to someone something that they really need. Do that. Your heart is awakening for a purpose. You'll enjoy it. Or maybe you've held back all this time within the home and not said anything within home and friend and family. Go ahead and be that center of love. Just because you choose to enjoy that moment. And for both of you, it's a moment shared. Maybe it's an animal, a plant. Go ahead and nurture that pet. Nurture that plant. You will add to growth and potential and definitely a form and expression of love. Written communication, whatever form it takes. Again, just maybe if you are lacking words, ask just for the feeling and expression, the vibration of love to pour through what you're sending out. Maybe just as image, maybe just a sound or song. Again, it's adding more to the canopy of care and affection and love within the universe. Send it out as Reiki if you want to, energ energetic healing to help family and friend with health, with finances, with worry. You're reducing worry in this universe and replacing it with love and light. Of course, that's an expression of love and it will come back to you and get magnified and amplified in some other nice, healthy form. And you'll want to do more then. And you'll recognize your divine power once again in your divine identity and your divine expression and your divine potential. And then the right side, of course, will help you add this essence of love that you just activated for yourself expression of it where you want more of this feeling in daily life 
through these roses on the right side of her. Balancing every form of worry and negativity, delay, an obstacle preventing you from manifesting desires and wishes into tangible reality. Again, that because of factor might re-emerge. Look back into her eyes. Where is it that I bring then more practicality and desire together? See, that's why there's no conflict between mind and heart this day. They work together. And where it seems that things were delayed or you could not find a way to finish a task, you will find now method, reason, prayer, invocation, meditation, all of it is aided this day. And in a way, this color that she's wearing and has around her is the holy color of the day. This will keep on re-emerging within you. Some form of the pink and golden ray of light. You choose to use it in your own way. Look back into this beautiful pink rose that she has where both the sections of her gown are coming together Where it is you really feel you lack balance and you want reaffirmation, validation, hope, love, restoration of something that you've lost and you want to replace fear and negativity with love. Go ahead and keep on replacing them. Be it even thought, be it even decision, manifestation, prayer. Wherever it is that you feel tired or want to give up that's a lack of love or where you don't feel understood or don't accept yourself or don't accept that a wish is due to you or is going to come to you give in to this beautiful rose and ask what is my divine truth regarding this I just want to feel loved and have the capacity to share that with others in a healthy way. I don't ask to dominate, I don't ask to judge, and I don't ask for clearance of someone else. It's all about you. If you're not at peace, how can you extend love to anyone else? So find that first and foremost in her huge and long pink throat. How do I? become a more love-filled expression of light. Ask. Ask for creative ways to connect with your guardian angel or in meditation and prayer and invocation, however it is that you want to enhance your spirituality because that is also enhancing your capacity to connect to the universe and to understand universal form an expression of loving. How to be more loving and caring. Not for any particular workshop or reason, just because, just to carry forward the capacity to care and love for this day. And then the rest will fall into balance then. Because you see, she's wearing a gown and Lady Nada is a Divine Mother very much holding you in the canopy of her care. You just help her help you and help yourself and keep on choosing throughout this day as many times as you need to because there are three balancing roses of light and love and compassion and caring helping you lay the foundation of what is important for you. And then the right side, so easily just falling into place because you choose to believe, have faith, 
and gracefully accept the guidance that is given to you, you don't hold back from expressing, you honestly approach the light, knowing that you are not judged in any way, nor will you be hurt or blamed. Keep on reading these words just to remind yourself of your divine truth. That's very important this day. To look into her face and see the love that's just pouring through for you. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. See, see all the heavenly beings want you to accept and enjoy this and give and receive in balance. It will happen for you easily and effortlessly. And when you look back on this day, you'll say, yes, the relationships, the capacity to love, the canopy of love, the circle of love that I'm surrounded by, very much there for full benefit of everyone involved. And this comes to you superbly from the Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the superb flow of the rays, the heavenly rose sprays of love and joy just pour through the art of Lily Moses. And Lily can be reached at l-i-l-y-m-o-s-e-s dot com. And this is Tina, signing off for now. Bye-bye.